What's up guys? So today I'm doing a quick tutorial on how to manually find, track a little bit, and remove um, remote administrative tools or rats from your computer. So to start we're going to want to hit Control shift escape to open up Task Manager or feel free to open it in any way that you feel comfortable with. Then we're going to want to go to View and select Columns and you're going to want to tick um, PID process identifier right here and this is just a little unique number given to every single process to make finding them easier if that made sense and then you're going to want to check the PID column so that every single process is sorted numerically by its process identifier and we can go ahead and minimize it so you're going to want to go to start and then type in CMD and run cmd.exe and this is your command prompt so we're going to want to type netstat ano dash ano and hit enter and a bunch of information is going to be thrown on the screen and you can ignore it for the most part until you get up top more until you see a connection that says established like right here and basically this means that there's a active connection between your local address and the uh, foreign address on your computer so right here is the PID or the process identifier of whatever process has an established connection so going up we can find 2332 right here so this has an established connection and it's throwing up some warning flags right away mainly it has no description and it's 32-bit generally you know, you can see that CRSS and WinLogon have no description, but those are 64-bit and they come with the computer. So those really don't throw up warning flags for me because I know that they're supposed to be there. But I don't recognize app SVC. So I'm going to open the file location and just keep that for later. And now we'll do a little bit of snooping. Um, right here. Mark is the foreign address and this is the person who's um, controlling the suspected rat because we're not entirely sure it is but we, we have a good guess that this is going to end up being a rat so there's something fishy going on let's just say the, the fishy person this is their IP so we're gonna copy it by hitting enter hit start or not start I'm sorry open up your browser and go to ipaddress.com IP lookup and look up. So here's some information on the IP. Oh my god. It's me. No. I'm just kidding. But yeah. So imagine this wasn't me. Uh we can see down here that this is a VPN. There's run by Creanova net um, so you could email them I suppose or give them a call and just say like hey someone here is doing something not very nice <laughs> that's totally up to you you can also upload the file on like a virus total site to have it distributed all of that is completely up to you if you don't really care, then don't worry about it. But I'll warn you that 99.9% .9 of the time, anyone who is um, ratting is probably going to be on a VPN. So, yeah, that's just a heads up. Back to everything else. So we can kind of assume this is like really fishy. It's connected to the Internet as an established connection uh, just sending information about god knows what to someone in Finland so I'm gonna go ahead and end it um, in this case there's not process persistence but a lot of rats or cryptors might have something similar so I can just end this process and it'll go away or end process tree would probably be better and it's gone yippee however if that doesn't work, I would either boot in safe mode and then go to 
the location that you had found before and attempt to delete it because in safe mode only necessary drivers are loaded. I would also run a program like CCleaner and go into tools, go into startup and just make sure that it there's nothing weird going on in your startup. I probably just drop box in there. <laughs> and make sure that you know everything looks right, I suppose. And essentially that should be it. If you have any specific questions, I'm not some you know white hat guru, but um if you do need help, feel free to let me know and I'll do my best. Um I would also, you know what, might as well um do a registry scan after it's deleted if you manage to end the process. And that'll probably that'll just delete any parts of it that might be left because I don't know about you guys, but I would want every single little particle of that off of my computer. If you really can't um, delete it, I would look into um, File Assassin. It's a really good program, and it's really good at deleting files. I'm trying to think of a better way to word it. But, th yeah essentially I would put the file that you found into file assassin and make sure you have delete file ticked and try to delete it and hopefully the process will go away and I would then definitely a hundred percent after that's gone do a malware byte scan malware bytes anti malware do a scan with it make sure that your computer's clean and then reboot and then check for the rat again that's just my advice these things like to cling on so yeah hopefully this will help anyone who needs it who's looking for help maybe you don't even know that you need help yet <laughs> um yeah that's about it once again any questions let me know I'll put uh, links to Malwarebytes, CCleaner, and File Assassin in the description. And yeah, good luck.